The Education Minister on December 5th inaugurated the new Atal Tinkering Lab at Grindale School in Gangtok, which is expected to go a long way in benefiting students in the subjects of science and maths. The Atal Tinkering Lab or ATL is an initiative of Government of India to inculcate skills by encouraging children to have hands-on to do it yourself approach to foster their innovative ideas and skills in the subjects of science, technology, engineering and maths. It is actively supported by Niti Aayog, Government of India and the Atal Innovation Mission. The chief guest Mr. Lepcha at the inauguration program said that such labs would immensely benefit the young minds he appreciated the school authorities for actively working for the establishment of the lab and also motivated the children to take up the challenge of innovation and skills through the use of lab which would go a long way in shaping their minds and career so with an aim and objective to help boost the scientific temperament and the innovative creative minds in schools a new atal tinkering lab was inaugurated today here at grindel school by the education minister mr k n lepcha you said in your uh, deliberation that uh, the scientific temperament of the student will be boosted by this kind of innovative atal tinkering labs uh, highlight more on this sir uh, basically these are the uh some of the innovative initiatives which have been taken which has been taken up by the government of India with the sole objective to see that our children uh the so develop themselves through these uh, atal tinkering labs you know because now you have all the all the facilities are there mm -hmm. so more and more you know the educational system has become such that uh, you cannot uh, you know go ahead with the traditional type of teaching material you know, in the past and today lots of this thing i mean differences there uh, so uh, the, the basic objective with which the mission has been started this atl atl that was started uh, these are just to boost the education the skill of our children in the, in the field of scientific uh, stem that is science technology engineering and mathematics right. so basically you know i mean it is just to make them sort of you know this uh, objective is to make the project student friendly so that they take more interest in this type of, instead of going through those uh, boring textbook types you know so these are the initiatives particular 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 initiative see to it that while learning they also take in interest in um, learning as, as i told you these are the student friendly so they will take lots of interest in it which is kind of a game also through which you learn that is three go oh we are very happy because um, our school have in, uh, installed this lab you know, which is utter utter tinkering lab and we, i think we will very will find very um, increasing students in this lab well, first of all i'm extremely thankful to all the teachers and and the post and the people who are involved in this atal tinkering lab thing which has been you know introduced in our school also so i think uh, more so it is a big you know opportunity for all of us uh, students to you know accomplish in uh, many aspects of science and innovate many many things in our coming generations so very thankful thank you um it is basically what it gives opportunity to, to each and every student to explore and also it gives like their it it is a stage for like if each and every student to like accomplish many stuffs in science field and also it creates um, creativity among the students and so it, it helps in the imaginations and also it builds up cu curiosity of what will this do and what will that do and it is a very 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 um effective and and gwindel has like um, what this and we are very thankful to our principal and everybody so it is an it is a it is a privilege to be a part of this thing though we don't have a, we don't have much time because we are going but for a short time also we got this chance to um to show our creativity and 
for next generation also it will be very helpful for each and every one to show their creativity their imagination and yes we are thankful to our principal our directors and our, our teachers as well thank you i am jennifer colney from robotech private limited i am a senior representative coming here for this uh, inauguration function for this program so yeah. can you tell us like you know what exactly robotic deals with yes sir uh, robotic deals with uh, as you can see today in this lab, we are dealing with the adult tinkering laboratory products, uh, the materials and equipments. We are the people who are supplying all these materials and you know equipments for uh, to set up this lab. And not only that, we are helping the school right from the start, like at, from the time of application and doing documentations and all the things and even after uh, getting the fun we help them to set up all these things and supplying them all the equipments the necessary equipments which is according to the guidelines of you know niti ayok and not only that after setting up the lab we give the training to the teachers because all these equipments are new to everyone they do not know how to utilize it so uh, this needs an expert to guide the student as well as the teachers so we have an expert in robotics. We have all the experts who can teach and guide all the students and the teachers. And uh, yeah, they are teaching and guiding the teachers so that the teachers can guide the students throughout the year to make success of this project. So that is how we work. How many schools you are covering in Sikkim? Uh, in Sikkim, as of now, there are some uh, going on pro uh, going on schools also, like uh, who have not got fun, who have already f uh, received the fun and whose lab are setting not actually complete. And this is the fourth school in Sikkim, uh, in Sikkim area. But if you talk about the whole Northeast, we have already have many, many schools, especially, yeah, I am Mizo, so let me talk about Mizoram also. So, right, in, uh, especially in Mizoram, we set up all the lab, all the adult tinkering laboratory in all the selected schools of Mizoram. Like every year you can see right from uh, yes, let's say 1,500 leads, 3,000 leads, and this time we are going with 347 leads. So from each of the leads coming out from the central government, we are helping all the schools. That is how we do. <coughs> Ma'am, uh, you mentioned four schools, right? And uh, across okay. the northeast, how many private schools have been included in this? Um, this is the first one. Yes, sir. Uh, this is a very important question, I guess, because uh, in every state, you know, most of the school who receive this fund are, yeah, government schools. Yeah, yeah. We will not say uh, private schools are not getting the fund, but uh, of course, many private schools are also getting the fund. But as a whole, government schools are getting more, while many other private schools are also applying for this. So yes, as uh, today, as we already listened here uh, in the program also. I think if the government, if our central government also look back to this thing, because uh, private, uh, private schools are the people and the school who need more, you know, improvement and help. And uh, in these days, we know that most of the better schools are always uh, private schools. Like, they need more facilities of such, yeah, to improve, to bring the better India. Uh, yeah, that is for all of us, right? The director of the school, Mr. G.T. Dungel, in his address said that school is making all sincere efforts to create innovators for a skilled India. The, the principal, Tabita Pradhan, in her address said that the lab is designed to inculcate skills such as design mindset, competitional thinking, adaptive learning, etc. to be in sync with the global scenario. All the models in the lab was explained by the young innovators. The students also presented a choir song in the function. Oh.